When Hurricane Ian slammed into Florida last September as a powerful Category 4 storm, it killed more than 160 people, caused tens of billions of dollars in damage, and wiped out entire communities. This year, there are above average odds of a similar storm striking again. Due to climate change, we're seeing, like right now in the Atlantic, anomalous temperatures. So this will um, enhance the hurricane formation and make them stronger. Researchers at Colorado State University are now predicting an overactive hurricane season with 18 named storms, nine hurricanes, and three to five major hurricanes of category three or higher. The odds of a major hurricane making landfall in the U.S. are 50%. What's so unusual is that this is an El Nino year, when weather patterns should make it harder for hurricanes to form. But they think that the sea surface temperature thing may kind of overwhelm it because it's because we're at record levels. The highest ocean temperatures ever recorded have created plenty of fuel for hurricanes. And just like when Fiona slammed into Atlantic Canada last year as the most destructive post-tropical system on record, conditions are ripe for storms to stay stronger farther north. Which makes places, you know, like, like the Mid-Atlantic and, and New England and even the Maritimes of Canada uh, more vulnerable. With three named storms already on the books and hurricane season just beginning, People up and down the vulnerable coasts are being told to prepare for what our warming planet may deliver in the coming months. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Washington.